would love for you to identify very specific things that you can name, pinpoint, and chew on that are things that get done and said that create safety in a group. This doesn't happen by magic. I love that question. And, and it's being done every day here. So what are those things? Favorable conditions. Yeah, favorable conditions. What, are, what is it? You want to know this as a trainer. You want to be aware of this as a trainer. So that's just planting that seed, and we'll get back to it later. And, and add something. Yeah, I do because safety is a big thing in industry. Yeah. Uh, and so creating favorable conditions while knowing that everyone is completely responsible for their need for safety. Yeah. And that it's an internal job. Things can help us on the outside, but it's not up to other people to make it safe for us. And that's the place we're always walking in NBC. That paradox of we want to stretch people into understanding that their safety is an internal job. And that they're self-responsible for all of their needs, safety number one. And you want to create favorable conditions. That's great. Well, the younger they are in NBC, the more you create favorable conditions. The more they mature, the least... We're hoping that the traditions have to be external. Because how can you then listen to people in a residential school, survivors, or a prisoner, or give empathy to anybody that's charged if you need 1,600 conditions for you to feel safe when they're screaming? So we did, in other words, we want people that are solid.